Well, tonight, more than 30,000 people are still without power, but 400 utility workers from all across the country are in that area today. They're working around the clock to get the lights back on. So after the devastating tornado outbreak, Northeast Ohio looking for ways right now to help the victims in the southwest part of our state. The Salvation Army collecting specific items of need and the Red Cross is encouraging donations of money. Bob Jones live in Akron tonight and you also spoke with a local Red Cross volunteer in the middle of the relief effort. Oh, well, Mike, her name is Pam Williams, and she's one of five Red Cross disaster workers from Northeast Ohio, now in the Dayton area, to help the victims. She says a lot of these survivors are still in shock. They need a lot of support and assistance. Here's how you can help. Dozens of homes leveled. Lives changed forever. The Dayton area tornado outbreak left a devastating mark on so many. It's not about the destruction. It's about the impact it has on individual families and their lives. Pam Williams from Akron is helping out at a Red Cross shelter. We have um, currently five shelters open. Our shelter population is growing. I think we sheltered last night about 131 people. And Pam says access to water is a major concern. We still have problems probably tens of thousands of people without water in the area. The Salvation Army location in Akron will accept water donations and other items the tornado survivors need, like toiletries, including soap, shampoo, and toothbrushes. Diapers, also a top priority. All the stuff that's in it. Along with cleanup kits containing brooms, brushes, and other supplies. Donations can be dropped off from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. during the week, but scheduling an appointment is preferred. Uh, the Salvation Army will be there for a long period of time, but we need the financial resources and the gift and kind resources to be able to just help every family. George Martinez from the Red Cross says damage from the twisters is unknown, but estimates hundreds of thousands of dollars will be needed for the relief effort. What you see on TV does not fully reflect what actually is happening on the ground. He says the best way to donate through the Red Cross is by giving money, which will help survivors get exactly what they need. Imagine if you lost everything, including your medicines, things of that nature, um, prescription drugs, all those kind of things are things that you don't typically think about when, when you just see it on television, but it becomes very real when you're the one that is impacted. Both agencies stressed Northeast Ohio always pitches in when disaster strikes. They step up to the plate and really help us uh, to help others. And the Red Cross says there are several ways you can donate money to help the tornado, tornado victims through the Red Cross's website, through an 800 number, or by texting a donation. We have all of those details on our News 5 app. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.